back on his heels a little bit after that right hand. But it looks like he got it together and came back and fought hard for the end of the round there. And he's coming out very strong here. Now I just saw something I've never seen before between the sixth and the seventh round. Zab Judah goes to his corner, sits down, stands up in the middle of, of the instructions, and then sits back down. Well, you know, it's, he's just very anxious, and, 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 and oftentimes, what a lot of people don't understand is when you sit down in that corner, your cup, your cup pushes up into your abdomen, making it difficult for you to breathe. So, so and oftentimes you see trainers pulling fighters. Oh, what a shot! What a Good shot! Right he's right out. Here. He's out. Look at that. Over. Good he's right out. Here. He's out. Look at right hand. Why does this fight mean stop? He's on his feet. This is dangerous. He is out on his feet. He is out on his feet. Why is this? He's not, he's not even looking. That's it. That's it. Great fight. And the, and the great Zab Judah is coming on. Oh, he's out. Um, that's it. Zab Judah. Again, what? the IBS welterweight champion of the world. Junior welterweight champion of the world. That one-shot power. He used his defense to set him up. All fight looked like he was just setting a trap. One shot changed it. Took his time, set it up, worked hard, showed the world that he is still one of the greatest fighters in the world. You, Let, you know, you can't teach power, but you can teach defense. He learned his defense. And he could he implemented that with his power. Look look at the result. What a shot. Well, you know, here's the replay, Tony. <laughs> and again, Zab was just setting him up, letting him and then just letting him think. Again, we were talking about who was stalking who. Was he actually stalking Zab or was Zab letting him think he was stalking him? And then and it showed He that, walked and he walked into the shot. That was Zab and, laying and the trap. And it showed that he, Zab was letting him think he was stalking him. Again, we'll show it again here, where he thinks he's walking Zab down, throws that lazy shot, and then Zab just steps back, and then boom, right on the chin. And if you notice, Zab is telling Sammy Berry with the ref, look at him, look at him, he can't continue like this. He's pointing to him. While this fight was going on, as is, watch Mike Tyson. He's in the lower left-hand corner. You'll see him in a minute. There he is in the jacket. He's, as he said, I he can't believe in, there he is. do this for he, a living. He, he, I can't believe he said that he could want I didn't want to. I felt, you know, I didn't want to say. Well, I, the reason why I said, why is he stopping this fight is because when, when a fighter gets hurt, I mean, protect yourself at all times. Either you're not, there's no standing eight. He's count taking too here. many shots right here. There, it, there's no standing eight count. If you're not gonna, if if you're not gonna be able, if the fight is unable to continue, then the ref should just stop the fight. There's no return punches. That was my problem. He was getting hit some solid right. shots. He was trying his best. He's a game fighter. I mean, game, game. game He's looking fighter. at his corner. That